It's a bloody. Now I'm fairly certain the bullet time mod will not activate itself unless I already have my Pip Boy. So I think, because basically it gives you a, a hollow tape, and the way the bullet time works is you. Ah, there you go. There's our shock tire. So the way it works is you uh, essentially favorite that tape, and then when you click that button to use it as a favorite, it then activates bullet time. So if you look, it should be under aid. Oh, we do have it. Never mind then. So for example, if I put it on number one. And then let's put our actually let's put our gun on number one because otherwise it'll break my brain. And then we'll go to aid and put bullet time on number two. Right, cool. So let's save. Uh, I think Stimpax are on three. What was on three? What was that? Let's use a Stimpax because we got like the the low health heartbeat thing. Yeah, you get whoa. I guess it was the baton. Right, so. For example, uh, what else I want to change is the settings because I feel like it's way too generous by default. So we'll change the AP cost. It's default 20. We're going to put it up to 40. And time dilation seems fine. Seems fine. Okay, so save. Right. Now if I press 2, bullet time. Can't apparently hit these birds, but there you go. So that's bullet time. I'm going to reload because I want my ammo back. So that is what we're going to be using instead of Vats, because I do not like Vats. Beastmaster, get ready to become the ultimate monster tamer. To get started, play the holotape entitled Mod Beastmaster that has been added to your inventory. This holotape will walk you through everything you need to know about Beastmaster. You can also use the holotape. Okay, so um, there is a perk of the game, from my understanding, that allows you to tame beasts. Even things like Death Claws, I think. Uh, this expands on that, so they're actually proper companions. What the shit was that noise? Now, another mod I have on is... Um, Oh, okay, I got two. One's like called Grasslands, as a lot more grass. Another one is um, a Seasons mod for Summer. So, it looks a bit sort of The Last of Us. You know, there's a lot of grassy things everywhere, and, you know, trees have leaves. Now, I understand there's been a nuclear fallout, but this is a long time after that's happened, and people have started to rebuild civilization, so it makes sense the trees have started to regrow. And you can't possibly argue that trees wouldn't regrow, because you literally can plant vegetables in the game that grow, so... To be honest, it doesn't make sense that nothing's regrown after like 200 years or however long it's been, so... I really like this. It makes the game look different, but also still, in my opinion, makes absolute sense from like a lore perspective. Now, I think there's some important stuff like right here that we need to grab, I believe. Maybe in this building, I don't remember. Yeah, here we go. You've collected an issue of pick a fence, you're able to build pools and showers... It does say showers, right? At settlement workshops. Yes, I have a mod that lets you build a pool. Now, it's a little funky from what I've seen. The pool seems to be really, really shallow. But either way, it's very cool. So there you go. And there's the bobblehead for criticals. Fantastico. That's about all I remember that's around here. I know there's a lot of important shit around Sanctuary that we want to pick up. And we're right next to Sanctuary. Uh, for those that don't know as well, by the way, Sanctuary is... Literally, the town you saw us start in, in our house, with our wife and kid, that's Sanctuary. So it's right next to where we are, which would make sense, because, you know, you saw us come to the vault. So that's the first order of business, is to go to Sanctuary. But again, there's some, um, uh, oh god, it stepped on the elevator. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, shit. Damn it. Alright, take these easy, McPoodoo. Enjoy the rest of your day, man. I guess I'll catch up with the chat whilst I'm doing this. Welcome to Massachusetts, exactly. Pressure Club did an armor set that was already free in the Nexus. See, that's the other thing they did as well. Uh, I think it's like the Enclave Power Armor or something like that. Or the TX-01 Enclave Power Something along those lines. Hello, Lily. How you doing? I feel like it's been forever since I've seen you. How are things? But yes, anyway. So, um... Hey! Welcome back, Mrs. Justice. So... I actually have that power armor installed. I've got about 10 sets of power armor installed. A couple of them I'm very excited about. A couple of them are definitely not law friendly, but look badass. I don't really want to spoil what they are, but they look badass. One of them is that Enclave set, but, you know, the, the free version, which is the, the annoying part as well. It's better than the paid version. It's got, like, more customization options. It looks a bit better visually. Like, not, not leaps and bounds, but it does look a little bit better. Like... Bethesda, man, like, you can't be charging for stuff that there's a free version that's better, like, it just, 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 just
Look how, but just take a moment. Look how pretty that is. Oh, by the way, uh, I have a, a hockey's mod as well. So, for example, F2 gets rid of the HUD. So I can be like, boop, it's gonna be loud. Should have warned you over that. Oh god, didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. That was the wrong button. Yeah. Let me not take screenshots because that's gonna be loud as shit for you. But, uh, yes. It's dope, you love vodka. Fantastic. I have missed thee, Lily. I have missed thee. Here we go. We're back in Sanctuary. I think, in fact, this right here might be our house. And there's another one I have. Apparently it adds chickens and I think rabbits and something else maybe. Uh, from, um, apparently they're from the... Oh good, it's about to thunder, I think. Uh, apparently they're from the Far Harbor DLC? I wouldn't know. Again, I haven't played that yet. But yeah, it adds them around in sort of places where it would make sense. Or, you know, farmland areas. Right, so this is the... Sort of the main building of Sanctuary. This, however, I believe right here is our house. And oh look! Our buddy Cotsworth. As I live and breathe. Oh, it's, it's really you. I did get it looking pretty dope, yeah. It is really me. Codsworth. What happened to the world? Oh my god, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. My god, they did it. Those bastards really did it. Everything's dead. Everything's dead? Ah, yes, the gum. Uh, the posies have been uh, problematic, I admit. No, we're not the flowers, Codsworth. Oh, only the missus were here to help. Where is she, by the by? <laughs> He's dead, Codsworth, and she was so goddamn attractive. Oh, they killed her, those bastards. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? I mean, I'm a little distraught. Like, she looked really good, and now she's just gone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, what options do we have here? Listen to me carefully. Have you seen him? Yeah, have you seen Sean? Why, the, the missus had him last, remember? Or perhaps she's gone to the Parker residence to arrange a play date. I'm sure she'll be back with him momentarily. And yeah, I, there's some weird stuff going on with the AI and the chickens. Like, I think... I think apparently sometimes the settlers will just go insane and attack the chickens, apparently. I haven't seen it, but that's what it said. Uh, I don't think they attack me when I attack the chickens, though. I think it's just the settlers seem to hate chickens sometimes, but not all the time. It's, it's very odd. Uh, Sean's been kidnapped, but I'm gonna so, find him. I'm gonna get my son back. back. It's worse than I thought. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Codsworth is, uh, has been all that clued up on human anatomy. Uh, doesn't matter how long it's been, I feel fine. 200 years, what are you? No, no, that's impossible. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's impossible. That wasn't 200 years. A bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. The Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. <laughs> you must be famished. I am actually. Uh, another thing I have is called binary speech check. So it's not so much based on. I, it's less luck based now, basically. Codsworth, you're acting a little bit weird. What's wrong? Tell Daddy. <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> and don't get me started about the utility of dusting a collapsed house! And the car! The car! How do you polish rust? <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, it gets me every time. Oh, Jesus. Focus, Codsworth. It's okay, buddy. It's not okay, but... such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. <laughs> I did find this. 
Hawk. Sorry. I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. So that's all that's left? That's not all that's left, sir. There's still you and me. Want to repopulate? And I'm feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. It seems unlikely. Uh, have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, sir. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? All right, lead the way. Round two, sir, sir. I think you just have to clear out like bugs from some of the houses, if I remember correctly. In fact, I see one right there. Right, what you doing, Codsworth? See, again, that right there, that's our house. That's called, sort of the main building of Sanctuary, because there's, uh... Well, because there's a power arm station and the crafting bench there. Alright, let's go. Lead on, buddy. What are you doing? You seem confused. Codsworth? Codsworth! He seems very confused. What are you fighting, man? What's he trying to fight? Because what? Don't break on me already, man. I'm gonna have to find whatever he's trying to kill and murder it. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna rob these houses in the meantime. Yoink. Again, quick reminder, uh, the junk, always nothing now, but everything else I think still has the whatever weight it was before. I think it's only changed the junk. Because I want to do a lot of crafting. And a lot of settlement building, but it's very hard to do. Okay. Oh, Christ. Cuts off, move! I'm trying to help you, man. Oh, damn, he's like wrecking face. Well, I tried. I really tried. Cuts what? This is not the neighborhood anymore, man. You're going down to the river. Cuts what? You crazy bastard. Go back. By the way, when I was testing this, you know, to make. Cuts what? That's a tree. That's a tree! Walk around it. Anyway, so when I was testing this to make sure everything was working properly, I found a farm and there was a robot there. It was like a hippie. And uh, there was a terminal that let you control the robot. And you could actually send it back for repairs to like wherever the hell it was built. You stealthy bastard! My god. It's like bloody Neo, but in a bug version. And uh, I followed this robot as it was going back to where it was built. My god, I must have been following it for about 15 minutes, and it constantly gets attacked along the way. And uh, eventually it died, and I just couldn't save it. I never actually did make it back to where it was going to get repaired, but yeah. It's, I, I really love stuff like that. It's just weird little things, like you just follow a robot for centuries, apparently. What are you doing, Codsworth, man? Like, what are you actually, are you done? Mr. Jason, don't worry. My search protocols are on fire. What the shit? Codsworth? What are you doing? My senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me. Okie dokie. Maybe if you actually, you know, didn't get stuck on the scene. The thing is as well, you gotta remember, because of the overhaul that I have on, it doesn't just change the way the trees look. It actually makes trees have more branches and things like that. So I think that's why he got stuck on a branch, because it's just not normally there. So it's like right in his AI path. <clears throat> this, on the other hand, this thing's always here. Why you're standing there, I don't know. But I'll deal with it, shall I? I hear stuff. What the shit? Oh, you're right there. My health is low? Really? Oh my god, it's low! Holy crap! Wow! You weren't kidding! Good god! Where did those things come from, man? Heal, 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 heal! Cosworth, save me! Oh, thanks, bud. You did. Appreciate it. Holy crap! It was bloody terrifying. It was actually bloody terrifying. What's that? Ooh, a safe. Uh, well, I know how to do this, right? Hang on, hang on. I am going to save, though, just in case. Uh, you had to upgrade RAM for this game. Couldn't get uh, go downtown without getting 10 FPS. Yeah, downtown drops below 60 for me. Uh, the lowest I've seen is 45, uh, but the thing is, it's just very inconsistent. So they, it will drop between 45 and 60, like, fairly often if you're moving around a lot. It's just, like, they, they have not optimized the area at all. It really just doesn't matter what PC you have, sadly. But, you know, the vast majority of the game runs fine, so... At least there's that. Ooh, a pistol. Taking all that crap. You see, there was a duffel bag on a roof. Which roof's that? 
Uh, did you get the special book in the house? No, I, uh, I will go back for that. Yes, Godsworth. Does he want to talk to me? My god, there's crap everywhere. Oh, I have another mod called Scrap Everything. So, for example, you see, like, all this rubble on the floor here? Like, all those little bits of crap? You can get rid of those. Uh, yeah. And, you know, normally, for example, you can't scrap, like, this building that we're in. You can scrap, you can scrap all of it. All of it you can destroy. So you can completely rebuild this house from the ground up if you wanted. Mr. Jason, the missus, and young Sean, they aren't here. Okay. Sean's down there, Codsworth. I need to find him. I need to find my son. What about Concord, sir? Plenty of people there. And last I checked, they only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. Oh, poor Codsworth, man. I like, feel genuinely sorry for this motherfucking robot. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. You remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge, out of the neighborhood, and past the Red Rocket Station? Not at all. Okie dokie, buddy. I kind of get you as a companion. Maybe not now, I don't know. Right, I know I know. dog meat's a red rocket. There is going to be a couple of surprises with dog meat, uh, which hopefully you will appreciate. Um, there's something weird with this chicken. It's like, watch this. Chicken is now dead. Watch. See, I can loot it. Watch. Now it dies. It's like, I don't know if they intended that. Like, I don't know if that's what Bethesda were going for. But for some reason, when you kill the chicken, because these are apparently, again, from the um, the Far Harbor DLC. When you kill the chickens, they take like a few seconds to realize they're dead. Now, I know chickens can like run around with their head cut off in real life. So maybe that's what they're going with. It's just very weird to me. Like, I can loot it and then it just, it doesn't realize it's dead for a few seconds. And I'm not going to kill them though, because you know, there are pet chickens. Right, so there was a special book, uh, I think I remember where it is. Isn't it like under Sean's crib or something? I think it is. See, this is our house. Mr. Handy, if you will see, look, there's the box that Codsworth came in. I love this shit, dude. I, I love this game. It's just... My god, it's so much better with these mods. Like, I can't begin to tell you. Yoink. I thought it was under his crib. This is his crib. Am I wrong? Oh, it's under there. You're special. Uh, let's get in charisma. Let's get charisma. Alright, so this crapola. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is one of the modded sets of power armor. The T-49. I'm going to take the helmet for now, but it's going to weigh a lot. I know all the... I don't know where all the pieces are. I know they're all, like, in and around Sanctuary. Like, I know there's one at Red Rocket. Not sure where the rest of them are. Now, here's my question. Can we currently edit the settlement? I'm not going to do it right now, but I want to know if we can, just because I want to kind of show you an example of what I'm talking about uh, with the whole Scrap Everything mod. I'm going to look at all this crap, because, you know, we can. It's not going to weigh anything, and it gives us materials to actually build. Yoink. We should go get dog meat, though, before we carry on. Can I take that lamp? Yes, I can. All right. Let's try. See if it works. You need charisma to control monsters. Your house sucks, Jason. I know. It's bloody awful. Okay, we can. Now, it will freeze for a split second here. Because there's so much shit that you can build now that's been added that it takes a second to load. The workshop allows you to be... Okay, we know how to use the workshop. But thank you. Right. So, let me show you. For example, I you actually need a separate mod to move this, this workbench. So you can move that over there so it's not hanging off the edge, which bugs the crap out of me. And for example, like all this crap, you can get rid of it. It's going to take a while, but you can clean the place up and make it not look like absolute shit. So that's nice. Uh, again, I'm not going to do this all right now. We'll scrap this tire though, we don't need that. And for example, you see, I can highlight this. I can scrap this whole bloody building. You can even get rid of the bushes and stuff like that. It's super cool. What I will scrap right now, before we carry on, are the houses that have just collapsed. For example, this one. Let's get rid of that. Just because that gives us a decent chunk of stuff. Uh, see, normally you can't get rid of the foundation. For example, with scrap everything, I can get rid of the foundation as well. And you can even scrap dead things. So, for example, if you um, if you kill like a raider or something, uh, you can then scrap its body to get bone chunks or bone shards, whatever the hell they're called, bone fragments, which again are a building material. Get rid of the piles of leaves. That's not scrap the road to sanctuary. You gotta be careful what you're doing, because I, I could just remove this whole like bloody road. And that would be kind of bad for business. Again, I ain't gonna do this all now. I'm just gonna get rid of a couple of these ruined houses. No, 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 no. Well, we'll get rid of those. That's fine. Fallout New Vegas to Fallout 4, though. Yes, I do agree. I think Fallout New Vegas is the better Fallout game. I think there's a lot of stuff that Fallout 4 does do better. Uh, but... 
the RPG aspect certainly, Fallout New Vegas has that nailed. Fallout New Vegas is one of my favorite games ever. Fallout 4 with these mods is really, really fun. I haven't played enough to tell you whether or not I like it as much as New Vegas, but I really like what I've played so far with these mods. And again, I've only played a couple of hours because I was just testing things to make sure it was all running smooth and not crashing and whatnot. Uh, what is that? Why does that look important? It's a medics. Okay. All right, this, that'll do for now. Let's grab the medics. Yoink. Anything else we can grab around here? I know there's, um... I thought there was, like, a basement in one of these houses or something. With a bunch of booty. Am I wrong about that? There's a safe. And a makeshift bomb. That seems entirely dangerous. Okay, we can't get in here. Full of four is good. It's... I mean, yes, it, obviously New Vegas, like, looks like ass, but you can mod New Vegas to look really good as well. All right, a bunch of ammo, converted pipe, okay. What the hell was that noise? That sounded like a dog growling, but we don't have, uh, we don't have dog meat yet. It's freaking me out, man. Boop. Hacking, okay. Uh, I think the only reason to do this really is to just get EXP. Hope, likeness one, HOPE. Soap, soap is two. So the O is correct. So soap. Probably soil. Yep. Sanctuary Hill, okay. Water okay. Miscellaneous. What the hell is this stuff about? Attention to a customer in Charlestown wants medic. Seems like they're desperate. Underwear model from uh can't you find like some sexy sexy like lingerie or something in one of the houses? Maybe this one, I don't remember. Oh god, it's down the chair. Wait a minute, what the crap happened to my dude's face? What? What's going on with my dude's face? Uh, I don't think he's supposed to look like that. We may have to, uh, we may have to fix that later. But for now, we'll just, uh, we'll just not look at our character. Because he looks very, very strange. And frankly, a little weirded out. He disarmed the bomb. Did I? I don't know. I just picked it up. I didn't know it was armed. I guess it makes sense that it could have been. Well, yoink. Oh, hey, bobby pins. All right, I think we're good. Let's go, uh, let's go to Red Rocket and grab dog meat. Where is Red Rocket? In fact, it's right over there. There's a bloody rocket. Let's go. I think I have a mod on that speeds up the running. Uh, it's not about, like, a crazy amount, but, yeah. It's a little bit. Minstrels are racist. That is true, yes. I don't disagree. Oh, you're saying I look like a minstrel. What if I wait around? Is it, do I just have, like, dirt on my face or something? Because it doesn't look like it. It actually looks like I'm full on, like... How do I say this? Like, it looks like I'm two different races that have melded together in some weird amalgamation. Like, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But, uh, sure. I think you can even scrap these. Though, hang on, let's, tr let's try this as a theory. They're outside the normal bounds of, uh... Let me, let me drag this guy's body and see if I can scrap him. I wonder if this works. Digital blackface. Exactly. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with that. But it's probably one of the character makeovers that I have. Weirdly enough, I never noticed that when I was testing the game. However, that might have been because I was wearing a helmet from pretty much the start. If so, and it only happens to me, I might just not bother to fix it. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, get in the damn sanctuary. Okay, let's make a save. It, the, I've only had two crashes. And it may sound like a lot, but I was doing a lot of testing. Uh, one of them was when I was building, which they did warn about. Scrap radar. You get bone, cloth, leather, and fertilizer. Yeah, fertilizer. There you go. He's now gone. That bastard. Can I scrap that? Ah, it's like way out of the bounds. It's going to take me out of the menu too quick, I think. Oh, we're close. We're close. No, I was right there. No. No, I was right there. I want to scrap the monger. Oh, I can't move him. What the shit? There's a tire iron. All right. What's with the lead pipe? Were you going to give my nugget a flogging? Let's try wearing some of it. What's this? What does this look like? Eh, not too bad. We need a helmet to cover up our, our weird face that we got going on. Uh, it's, it's just, oh, we can't wear that on its own. Damn it. Oh, we do have... Yeah, we got her wedding ring as well. Let's wear hers. Uh, let's try the drifter outfit. I like that. That... I like that. I don't like that our face doesn't make any damn sense, logically speaking, but I do like that. Can you scrap the world border? In the world border. Wait, can you scrap the world border? Uh, I don't think so, no. Uh, there, there is a mod, by the way, which I do not have, that lets you build settlements anywhere. So I think, essentially, you could use that to connect Red Rocket and Sanctuary. Because, you know, Red Rocket's right here. It's not like they're far away. Look, everyone, it's Dogmeat. Even though he's just called Dog right now, I think. 
Okay, so obviously, I have a mod on. I think it's called Ghost, or Dog Meat Ghost, or something like that. Uh, it's a reference to Ghost from Game of Thrones, you know, because it's, it's a white dog meat. Looks cool, like it. Are you going to use any melee weapons? Quite possibly, yes. I don't know yet. And this one is called Pug Meat. It is a bloody pug, which is adorable, that just follows dog meat around. I don't think this thing does combat. I'm not sure if it could die. I hope not. It's just an adorable pug that follows, uh, follows dog meat. What you doing out here all by yourself, buddy? Uh... Want to come with me, pal? Hooray! We now have two dogs, and I have digital blackface. Fantastic. Come here, though. See what I mean? It doesn't follow me, it follows dog me. Adorable. Bloody adorable. Alright. Um, let's loot some stuff. Get out, get out of the way. Get out. Thank you. Did you? Is that in your inventory? That was the uh, a piece of the power armor that I was talking about. Yeah, he's got the, the right leg. You can take the helmet, because I can't carry that right now. Uh, there you go. Shit, what did I just do? Whoops. Oh, okay, I took what you have. Alright, that's fine. I thought I gave you everything I have, which would have really sucked. Yeah, the controls are different from Skyrim, so... It's gonna take, uh, it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to. And there's the left arm. No, 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 come back here. You can store stuff on Pugmeat as well, which is very handy. Boop. And then, boop. So we've got the left arm, the right leg, and the helmet. Huh. Okie dokie. Uh, well, we'll try the weapons workbench. Maybe we can do something. We've got that pipe shotgun. That thing hits like a truck. Look at the damage on that. 99. Uh, can I get, like, a sight? Because I'm blind. I can make a combat scope. Let's make that. Let's see what that looks like. Boop. I just want to be able to see. Not bad, man. Not bad. Fantastic. The heck is that noise? Ooh. Leave Pug me alone. Get away. Try not to shoot dogs. That's another one I have on. Neil, Gr Neil deGrasse Tyson says we got a badass over here when I level up. I don't know how audible that was. It's a little quiet, but... Uh... Oh, and the other mod, which again is going to sound like a little thing... You may know, if you're familiar with Fallout 4, whenever you kill something, you get this annoying, like, cash register cha-ching sound pop up. I have one that just removes that, because that's annoying. Like, that's not, it doesn't sound good. It's, it's crap. So, yeah. Um, I like it. Looks like Pugmeat's doing combat. I don't think so. I think he was just running for his life. I, I tested a little bit with Pugmeat, and I never noticed him actually attacking. I don't think he does. I think it's just, like, the way he follows Dogmeat around, and Dogmeat's doing combat. It kind of looks like he's getting involved, but I don't think he actually does. I could be wrong. But I really don't think he does. But we'll see. So there's another thing. Uh, you can collect the pins from the load screens. Uh, and there's actually a pin rack that you can make. And store them in. Why? I don't know. It just seemed like a cool thing to have. More stuff to collect. Ham radio. Hello, come in. Breaker, breaker. Niner, niner. 247. Uh, we got a badass over here. That's right, we leveled up. Good point. Level up. Right. I don't know what to pick, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, I think Gun Nut is a good first perk, maybe, because it allows you to do more, you know, crafting of your guns. What's what's Gunslinger? Yeah, Fortune Fighter. Yeah, where's uh, where's Gun Nut? There it is. So we're gonna get that first. Just lets you do more more uh, customization on your weapons. Can I zoom in? Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. You open mouth a. Bit a mole. Okay, well, you might be right, but we'll see, I guess. We'll see if he does it next time we get in combat. Get at the damn way. And uh, I do have a mod on that lets you have more followers. We're not going to go ham with that. I know we have like four in Skyrim right now, but that's really only temporary. I don't remember what this terminal does. Business entries, October service line. I think we need this. Safe storage. Take care of these barrels before you leave tonight. Inspectors are coming first thing in the morning. Just hide them with the others. We'll figure out a longer term solution later. Hey, if nature's going to favor us with a cave right below the shop, who am I to argue? There's a cave below the shop? Interesting. How the crap do I get to that? I don't remember that. Huh. Get out the way, dogs. Oh my god. Right. Chickens are fine. Okay. The dogs have not murdered them yet. This is actually genuinely surprising to me. Nuka-Cola. station. Ah. 
What well, the hell do I get to the... How do I get to the cave? Yeah, I'll get the Irish chick, don't worry. I don't know who we're going to keep. We'll probably just switch them in and out, is my guess. Oh, another one I have uh, is I have one that removes the negative affinity from you stealing and stuff like that. So, for example, you know, like Valentine, if he sees you stealing, he'll eventually just hate you and attack you. It removes that because I think that shit's stupid. Again, you may, I, I, I get what they're going for. Like, I understand what Bethesda were going for. They, they were going for, you know, realism, and they wanted to have certain characters have certain alignments. You know, this is a good character, this is a bad character. The problem is, almost every character is good. So, if you want to steal and stuff like that, they're eventually not going to like you. I mean, also, I don't know, it just... I get that they were trying to make it more RPG with that, but in my idea, I feel like they made, in my opinion, I feel like they made it less RPG. They, you know, it gives you less options, because you're like, well, I want to steal, but I want to have, like, Valentine with me, and you kind of can't. So it's, it's kind of a double-edged sword. I'm just seeing if there's any more stuff to look around here. I don't think so. What's that? Can I take that? Oh, I guess it's part of the workbench. All right. Again, we'll mess around scrapping all building and what have you later. I don't want to do too much to that right now. I want to actually get some stuff done. So we're going to try and just get, you know, the Concord part out of the way. And then uh, we'll carry on from there. Evening, Governor. So good. Look how pretty this place. It, it really reminds me of The Last of Us. I love the way the game looks now. That is just, like, actually gross. Probiscus. Probiscus. That's my, my impression of Tobuscus. Who... Did he ever get in trouble for, like, that rape accusation? I don't remember. I have a mod that lets you break wooden doors. I don't know how it works. To be honest, I didn't read the mod description. But I know you can break... Yeah, it looks like stuff's coming off. Can I break this door? Do you break? <laughs> I don't actually know how to use it. I need to look that up. But I do have it. That's all I know. Ooh. Yoink. Don't mind if I do. I love that we don't get over encumbered, like, every five seconds as well. God, it's handy. Do, 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 do. Isn't this like Raider Central? I'm pretty sure it is. It's favorite some of our weapons. We have discovered Concord. Do I still have digital blackface? I totally do. <laughs> what the shit is going on with that, man? I actually have no idea why our character looks like that. Uh, let's favorite... Is the pipe piece any good? 8 damage, 18 now. It's a bit shit. Well, that one's better. Converted, pipe. Converted, pipe. Huh. Interesting. All right, we will ferret you on number three instead of the baton, I guess. And then we'll put the shotgun on number four. And then we will put some stim packs on, I don't know, like something. Put stim packs on, let's put it on eight. I don't know why eight, just so it's not near everything else. Uh, is bullet time still on number two? I think it is. I can't remember. Let's just assume so. You don't think so, but it did kill Toby's channel. He gets like 300 p views per video or something with someone. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't put a lot of views, but holy shit. For a guy with like 8 million subscribers or whatever he gets, he gets like a few thousand views, sometimes like 10,000 at most on his videos. Like, man, like don't get me wrong. I'd love to get 10,000 views, but with 8 million subs, like if you look at that in percentage, like it's actually crazy. It's actually crazy. It just, it blew, I saw that the other day, I was like, wow, what the shit happened to this guy? Like, at one point, he was up there with PewDiePie in terms of, uh, in terms of popularity. Even though, uh, you know, I think, I think my views on PewDiePie are quite clear. I'm not saying PewDiePie deserves it. Oh, yes. Now, the mod I have makes it like a torch instead of just glowing up the entire area. The main reason for this is because, as you can see, the lighting is actually really nice in this game. But, the torch kind of ruins it. So, it's, if it doesn't, like, beam and... Uh, you know, it doesn't cover the whole room in a big beam like the normal Pip-Boy does. It doesn't ru ru ruin the lighting quite as much. You can see the lighting still looks nice on the left, but we can still see. So it's more why I installed it, more so than anything. Just so it... Because, again, the lighting's really nice, but for the most part, you can't actually see that. Because you walk around with the Pip-Boy torch on all the time. Because if you didn't, it's pretty friggin' dark. Yeah, I heard the PewDiePie did something stupid again. Didn't he, like warn the developers not to take down his videos or something. It's like, after your racial comment, my man, you should probably just lie low instead of trying to be Mr. Controversial. But no, 
No, as always, PewDiePie proves he's like just a bloody idiot that bumbled his way into being the most subscribed person on YouTube and didn't actually get there through like any form of intelligence or planning. It just kind of fucking happened. Because, man, that guy is not fucking smart sometimes. Like, he is not. I thought he was. I genuinely thought he was like a bloody genius. I thought, oh, like, basically, you know. What the shit was that? Get out of here. Let's see. Is Pugmeat attacking? Oh, he did. Okay, never mind then. And now you're not attacking. I don't know why. Fair enough. I'll take it all back. Get out the damn way. Can I pick up this man? I can. That's awesome. <laughs> It was so stiff. What was that? Screwdriver? I'll take it. Alright. Search and we will go. Search and we will go. Ha uh ha. -huh. Oh god, I'm all... oh god, I'm in the hole. Hi ho, the Mario. We're searching we will go. Yoink. Yeah, I don't know, man. He, uh. As I was saying, I thought, you know, originally he was just some kind of bloody genius. Like, oh, he, you know, this was all, uh. See again. This, this is locked. It's too high for us to pick. So he just says, you know, no, I can't pick this, basically. Uh, anyway. I thought, you know, him getting to the top was him knowing what he was doing. I don't think he does anymore. I don't think he knows what he's doing at all. I think he's a fucking lucky moron. And here's the thing. I never had anything against PewDiePie. But, like, after the shit recently, I now think he's an asshole. So, there you go. Previously, I thought he was just fine. I, in fact, had heard good things about him. Now, nah. Drastically changed my view on that man. I never, like, watched his shit or anything. It's just not my stuff. Can I put this cap on and, like, maybe, uh... Like, hide my shame. That is a cool looking hat. We still have blackface, don't we? What is going on with that? Oh, PewDiePie would hate my character right now. It's like the back of my head. It doesn't look so, it doesn't look so obvious like this. It looks like we fake tan just the front of our face. Pugmeat is a killer. Yeah, he's a stone cold killer. I don't, know, I don't know what happened, man. I don't know what happened. I am picking up more crap than usual just because it's the very start of the game and I want to have some building materials. So, yeah, I'm not going to be quite this thorough normally, but since we're here, I figured we would. Also, we're about to go outside and face like 20,000 uh, 20, bandits, I'm fairly certain. Or raiders, I guess. Because I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of them in Concord before we can actually get in. I'm stuck. Too many dogs. Free warm money. Not bad. Ooh. Aluminium. For some reason, uh, one of my mods should do this. You see, it highlights and tells you what you actually get from scrapping it it only seems to work on cigars and like one other thing i have no idea why uh i have like three or four different ui mods that kind of all work together clearly one of them's conflicting in some way so uh yeah so i don't quite know what's up with that all right any more crap for jason to pick up i want all of the crap give me that give me all this shit beautiful wish i could scrap the skeleton Ooh, a cap stash okay how do we get out of here? I guess this way. I think the fall damage on this game is pretty brutal. I thought I had a mod to fix that, but it didn't feel like it when I was uh, when I was running around. It seemed like I just died falling off a roof, like, constantly. I'm not talking about, like, a higher roof. I just mean a roof. We're going to roll with this shitty pipe thing just because we can. I thought this... I could have sworn this whole area was lined with bandits. Oh, actually, we're not quite as close as I thought we were. Never mind. It probably still is. Yep, here we go. Here's a bandit. Let's make a permanent save. Alright, hold up. Let me catch up with the chat. Hey, Jason. I know by now Oblivion is old school, but did you ever do Knights of the Nine on your LP? Yes, I'm pretty sure I did. 99% sure I did? Yeah. Yeah, I think I did. Whoop. Where's your face? Where'd you go? Hooch. I can't tell you how nice it is to actually be able to shoot and not have the frame rate drop. Uh, we'll take all that crap for now. Mm. Whoa! There's a guy like lighting me the fuck up. Where did you come from? Oh god. Oh, long Johnson. Excuse me. Time to move. What was it? Eight? Time to stim the hell up. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Bump, bump, snake. I know I have uh, the bullet time, by the way. I'm about to use it. Don't worry. Which button is it? Number two. You crippled me, you bastard. Ah! Freaking high noon, son. Anyone else? Yes, there is. Where'd you go? I have no idea. Holy crap. Oh, God, I can't walk. Yeah, crippled. Wait, I can do it like this. There we go. Fantastic. Gimme, gimme. 
Gimme, gimme. I'll take that. Don't know if it, I'll take all this crap for now. Don't know if any of this is good. That was a lady. You sure about that? Hang on. No! Stop knocking them out of the way. Get you, bitch. Took like four shots, but I got you in the end. I miss a lot more because I go for headshots, pretty much exclusively. I don't, I don't really like shooting dudes in the body. It feels cheap. I don't know. It's also good practice for when you're actually playing, you know, a competitive shooter. Give me your damn head, man! Ooh, buddy! Isn't that how the guns are? It sounds so much better. The normal 10mm sounds like a fucking pea shooter. Do we have any grenades? I don't think we do. Ooh. Oh shit. They found me. How are you alive, man? Ah. No. No. And how'd you go? What are you doing? There is an AI overhaul I have on as well, so... Oh, that one's just a pet. Wait. Is that what I think it is? No, never mind. So there's sometimes, um... What is going on? Who is shooting at who? That's oh, pug me. I guess they killed him? I don't know. Anyway, um... So, there's sometimes raiders now that are called like raider hoarders or something. I don't know if they're in the game originally. I don't think they are. And they just have like a shitload of ammo and stuff and they just kind of run away from you. It's, it's a little strange. They're almost like treasure goblets. It's a little strange. Uh, I really like the jacket we got on. The drifter thing looks badass. What's this sack? Is, I think we, yeah, we can wear both those. What does a sack hood look like? <sighs> looks like a sack hood. Yeah, let's try taking it off. I want to see what the other thing looks like. An assault gas mask. They both look pretty cool. We'll roll with this for now, I guess. That, that hides our shame of our weird digital blackface. Okay, I'll take you. Let's put some armor on now. Got chest piece, left reeves, and left arm guard. We got a light left arm guard. Oh, it's, okay, we got... So we just need uh, right leg? Yes. Does any one of you dead fellas have a right leg armor piece? Just so I match. Well, hey there, buddy. Uh, there's more drugs in the game now as well. Uh, the plus, I think, just means it's better, so... We'll take it. Yoink. Scavenger blah, blah, I'll take the cap. It's the same sack hood. Alright, now we gotta scavenge all these bloody bodies. Welding goggles, Union Jack mask, hell yes! Hell yes. Let's fly the flag for my country, even though I normally don't do that. Can I wear that with a bandana? Nope. Lame. Ah, it doesn't cover our digital blackface. Can I put the cap on? Uh, we got a bunch of caps. Yeah, that covers it. I don't really like that cap all that much, but it does cover it. Not like the green hood. Eh, it doesn't quite cover it properly. Neither does the military cap, but I kind of dig the military. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. We just got a tan on our face, that's all. We just, you know, we fell asleep in the tanning bed, but it was only our head in there for some reason, and only the very front. Just don't think about it too much. It's exactly what happened. Where are all these dead dudes? I think one of them died over here? Hang on. I don't see shit. Hello? Hello? Oh. Yoink. Like I say, we'll do this uh, this bit of story here, and then, uh, then we'll sort of deviate from the main quest most likely for a fair bit and do some building and whatnot. Probably not all this stream, because man, it is late when I started, so it's bloody late now. Did I loot you? Yes, I did. Seriously, though, one of you has to have, like, a right leg piece. You have to. You do not. You suck. Hey, up here, on the balcony. I know, I'm busy. Go away. Inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please. Okie dokie, buddy. Hang on, I'm putting on a right leg piece. I found one. Hey, fantastic. And now we look like a weird, but still badass, bad badass with here. blackface. Hey, we're leveled up again. Sweet. Boop. Right, does anyone have any suggestions uh, for perks and things that we should pick? I'm not going to, like, go through it, because look at this. There's so many of them. Uh, but if anyone has any suggestions, feel free. I'm not going to use the perk right now, and I'll see what people say, because I don't even know where to begin. Like, there's so freaking many. I think we can wear, like, glasses with this. Don't we have some goggles or something? Uh, welding, what about wrap around? Let's wear the wrap around. That looks pretty cool. I like that. Cannibal Medic Scrounger. Water breathing. All of that sounds good. 
Idiot Savant. Cannibal Medics. Okay, 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 okay. Let's have a look. So we've got Cannibal Medic Scrounger, Water Breathing Idiot Savant. Let's just go through these, see if I can find any of those that were suggested. Scrounger. Find more ammunition. See, I don't think we're going to need Scrounger because. Since I do triple damage and I take triple damage, that means we're going to effectively be spending a third of the ammo. So I don't think ammo is going to be a problem, to be honest with you. Uh, rigorous combat training. So what else was it? Medic. What does Medic do? Is there a doctor in the house? Typically resource 40% of lost health and right away removes 40% radiation. That seems like it might be a good idea. We'll, we'll go with that one for just the start. Because that's probably one you want early. But I'll try and remember the other suggestions. In fact, I'm going to write them down. Because my memory is so bad, I'm going to write those down. So we'll have a look at those next time. Am I write them down? I mean, I'm literally being so lazy, I'm screenshotting the screen with my phone. There we go. That's just about not blurry enough that I can see. Water breathing also reduces rats taken in water. Yeah, I believe so. I want that jacket. That's a cool looking jacket. What about you? Oh, you're a, po oh, you're a military man. Dirty gloves. This guy last time I was here when I was testing uh, had a hat. Like a really cool sort of cowboy looking hat. He does not have that now. What a bastard. How are we on space? Actually, still pretty good for all the crap that we picked up. And by the way, look at this. Look how much junk we have. Look at this. No way. Love it. Beautiful. All right, so. Uh, we picked up a gun. That's right. I want the laser musket. And we're going to favorite you. And we're going to put you on five. Five seems fine. Windy, windy. All right, beautiful. I seem to remember the lighting looking really good in here. We're not surprised, Jason. Uh, yeah. Me either. Bam, bam, bam. What? That missed you? Feel ripped off. Do you need to reload, like, both? There we go. Do you need to load, like, both in there or just one? I don't know how it works. Does it do more damage if there's two? So good. Where's this other dude? Where you at, buddy? Says he's right over here. Bango Stipe, Rookie! Is he through here? Like, where are you at, son? I don't know. We'll leave him for now. He doesn't seem to be troubling us, so we'll leave him for now. What the? I heard a bullet. Are you shooting at me? Stop being a dick. Man, it's dark as shit in here. Alright. Any more booty to loot? What was that? Is that Bobby Pins? Yep. You are through there, right? Like, you have to be. Where is... Where are you shooting me from? Oh, he is there! Oh, he moved! That was the greatest dodge of all time! What? Stay still! Gotcha! Bastard. Hey, can I loot this from this side? I can't! Wow, they thought of that! I am actually amazed. I think you have to find another way up, because that's all blocked off, I'm pretty sure. Rank several times gives more consecutive shots. But it doesn't though, that's the thing. Like for example, you see I got two right now. One shot, took both. And then if I crank it once, one shot. Like, it doesn't seem to make a difference. I'm confused. You think you can keep revving up for more damage? Eh, it won't let me rev up anymore. Well, another mod I have on, which should be pretty obvious, it's called Lowered Weapons. So your character isn't walking around like this. Like, me. let me just point my gun everywhere. So they stand more naturally. Alright, another one I have uh, adds a bunch of unique weapons to the game. Not just weapons and level lists, these are like unique ones that you pick up. So that's one of them. Uh, that one I did remember was there when I was testing it. Gain increased armor and speed when sprinting greatly increases bash damage. So basically, if you hold this, you can run really fast and also. Pokey pokey. Pokey pokey. I could poke the dog. I'm not going to poke the dog. Pokey pokey. I don't know if there's anything else in here for us to pick up. We have no ammo in this thing. Is the unfortunate part. I wish we had ammo. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's up, what's up with the crank thing. It just it doesn't seem to make a difference whether you have one or two. Unless it just does more damage, is my guess. Because either way, it's consuming two ammo. Yeah, send them back to London, boys! Those damn red coat bastards. Try and be careful of mines and shit. I have no idea if there's any in here. Alright, let's sneak. 
Bum 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 snake. I think that's like a power core down there, fusion core or whatever it's called. Yes, it is. Can I use you? Yes, I can. Beautiful. All right, T's. Nothing. Wow. Oh, stays. Where's the S? Oh, it's down there. Okay. Uh, S D A Y S. So it's not paths. It is not sorts. So it's not those two. Could be clock, I think. Yes. It is clock. Fantastic. Unlock. Beautiful. We did it, everyone. Burm, burm. Burm, burm. I like the way it looks really weird the way they sort of glow even in the pitch black darkness is a little strange but you know it amuses me yeah. what's up Jack all right don't think there's anything else to do around here again I know the very beginning of the game like this building relatively well because this is kind of where I was testing the game uh, outside of this, I don't know shit, really, other than, like, you know, my first playthrough, which was on camera, and it's been so long, I can't really remember much at all, so, yes. Kind of... Bitch! Oh, don't you die on me! Oh god, press the wrong button. Now! That's not what I meant to do, but fuck it! Get clobbered, son! Good work, dog meat. Good work. Get out of the way. He's got a walking cane? Dude, I have to have a pimp cane. Are you kidding me? Plain leathers. I'll take him. He's got, like, Scottish trousers on. Hey, we'll take you, we'll take you. Okay. Let's use our pimp cane. Where is it? 15 damage, 16 damage, but it's a cane. Oh my god. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, that's right, we can't really look at our character with the weapon out. Well, we kind of can. There you go, that works. <laughs> I really need to fix, like, our character. Oh, our character's face is back to normal now. What the shit happened? Hang on. Why is it back to normal now? He doesn't have black face anymore. Okay, that's weird. Hello, Big Bird. How you doing? There's... I'm okay with that. I just don't know what I don't know what changed. Swag. I know, right? I mean, we look bad, fucking ass. I love this armor. Well, I guess more like clothing than the armor. But these bits of armor are like you know newbie like crap. But still, the clothes look cool. <laughs> I'm like listening to bloody British music as well because of the red coat like display in this place. It's amusing. I'm also wearing a Union Jack mask. This could be not could not be more British right now. Bum, 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 even down to the king. And I'm gonna skin every last one of you. Come on, man. They ain't going nowhere. We got other shit to deal with. You hear that? I gotta go take a little walk. Oh shit. Oh back. shit. And you'll be dead. Oh shit. Get Pim Kane, son. Oh god. He Pim Kane me back. <laughs> Sweep the legs down here, son. Oh god. Oh god. I got the shit kicked out of me. Oh god. I hit the duck. I'm so sorry. You're in the way. Hang on, why is two... Oh, son of a bitch. Boop. You almost want a freaking piece of me? I don't think so. I need to change uh, the hockey for that, because two is not a comfortable hockey. Okay, let's try putting put on F1. I think F1 might be better. Alright. Aid. You'd think two would be fine, but no. It's breaking my brain. Uh, let's put bullet time on... How do I put it on F1? I think I have to go to... Full level hockeys? Hockey manager... Okay, modify one. Set assignment. Okay, and then I click on bullet time. Yes. So I think... Okay, take take it off, take it off. Right, then we go back into hockeys. We only have to do this once. And then... Yeah, I'm pretty sure F1 is slot one. Let's check. Yep, okay, perfect. That's what I want. F1 makes more sense to my brain. They heard ghosts, those pricks. Yeah, but to be fair, so did I. I smacked him on the back of the head. I wasn't trying to, but it's kind of happened. I heard a dude scream. All right, those are the good guys that we're looking for. Why are there a bandit so close to them? Uh, and they're all seemingly fine? I have no idea. What the hell is a pixie mask? I've got to see what this mask looks like. I'll show you what a couple of them look like, actually. The bones uh, one I've seen before. That looks cool. It's just like a skeleton kind of thing. See? I'm a spooky, scary skeleton. 
Uh, and then we've got a uh, red angry bandana. Yep, that's an angry bandana, all right. Apparently took off my glasses, which I'm not okay with. It's pixie. Same thing, but like a pig. Okay, it says a wink on it. Not too bad. A salt gas mask. Oh, we've seen that. We saw that. <laughs> Get out of here, you're old. Uh, Sanko, red, 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 red. Okay, I think it's good. Oh, we, did we see this one? Yeah, we did. We literally just looked at that. All right, anyway. Uh, Union Jack, and where's my damn glasses? We had wrap around, I believe. Yep, it's, it took my beret off. You bastards. Fantastic. All right. You're grinding Destiny 2, so you're good. Nice. I figured you'd be playing that, because I know you were really into Destiny 1. How is Destiny 2? You enjoying it? I'm assuming you are. I've heard good things, whereas when Destiny 1 came out, I heard a lot of bad things. Not that I think Destiny 1's bad. I'm sure I'm sure it's very good, but, you know. Irrelevant of which, I still heard a lot of bad things. Because, you know, people like to complain. Having said that, don't get me wrong. Ooh, what the shit is that? Merc's Revenge Automatic Merc's Revenge Scar H. That's a long name. That's, that's, that's definitely a modded gun. Let's see what that's like. We might have any ammo for it, and it might be a little OP. Uh, if so, we'll try to avoid using it, at least for now. But man, do I want you. We've got four bullets. What does it sound like? I need to hear it. Let's see if we can find someone to kill. Which uh, makes me sound psychotic, I know. Yoink. Yoink. Give me all of the junk. What does it look like on a character? Oh, it's not, there's no, no light here. Hang on. It's kind of light here. Yeah, we look pretty badass. This too is just everything Destiny 1 was expected to be. Yes, that's pretty much exactly what I've heard. Which uh, sounds like a good thing. I don't know if I'll ever play it. Maybe, maybe not. I like shooters in case that wasn't obvious. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we got space. Let's pick up uh, stuff that might have value. Actually, if I think, think if I press... Yeah, here we go. Oh, you eight. Eh, we'll take you. We're, we're very poor right now, so, you know, we can't really pick and choose all that much. Value 25. Gonna sell that bad boy. We'll sell you as well. Alright, cool. What about you, buddy? Blood soak, value 5, value 28. Yes, worth taking. I'll take that as well. Alright, I think we good. Uh, there is another place over here. Can I just jump across this? Yeah, let's go this way. Here we go. As well, what are we up to on carry weight? We're getting there now. All right, so now we're going to be a bit more, uh, a bit more picky. I think from here we can unlock that gate uh, that we were on the other side of. That, I shot that dude through like the uh, the grate or whatever it was. Fairly soon. There's more of these damn dudes. Ah, get out of the way, you creepy. Pick up the caps. There we go. The graphics, audio, character, story, all amazing, but it's just a tad too easy. I suppose that makes it accessible for more people, though. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. I imagine the difficulty is probably supposed to be in the, like, endgame raids and whatnot. That's usually the way MMOs are set up, which, I mean, it, it kind of is an MMO, right? It's just an MMO shooter. Picked up, like, a black vest or something. Hang on, what does that look like? Harold, black vest and slacks. I mean, yeah, that's what it is. It doesn't look as cool as what we had. What do we have? Like, the drifter out there, I think? Yep, I love that. There's... Whoa, what's going on with this? That was weird. Um... Okay. I'm not sure what's going on with the Pip-Boy light, but it's uh, doing some weird shit. We'll leave that for now, then. What's that? Bag of cement. Sure. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Is it just with this gun? Yeah, I think it's just with that gun. Okay, interesting. Yeah, something about that custom gun that's messing up the Pip-Boy light. Like, the whole Pip-Boy light looks different now, doesn't it? It's like very, like a very clear circle, which it wasn't before. Huh, that's weird. I don't know what happened with that. Well, at least we could see. Yeah, there you go. it's changed again. That gun's messing up the Pip-Boy light. That's weird. That is very strange. Okay, well, at least we can fix it. Uh, oh, hey, buddy. I'll take all of that. Oh, we're getting so close to being over encumbered. So bloody close. I'm hoping we've got some kind of like a... I can't pick that. Son of a bitch. I'm hoping we've got some kind of a, like a decent long range rifle now. And if not, we could always just convert one of the guns we have into a rifle essentially. I mean, I know we picked up literally a rifle. We don't have any ammo for it. Uh, but we could convert one of the guns that we have to a, a proper rifle. 
Alright, I think we're fairly done searching around this place now. Is there anything over here that we maybe missed? Quite possibly by the looks of things. Uh, we weren't in here, were we? No, we were, because it's totally like dead dudes mowing on the floor. Did we, in that case, go up these stairs? Yes, we did. Alright, yeah, I think we're pretty much done. Give me the hood. Why not? Alright, what up? Actually, I do want to see if I can jump that gap. Yes, you can. That's kind of cool. Have we been- Oh, that takes me outside. No! No! Uh, Fractal, those are not the mods for this. Those are the mods for Skyrim. I actually need to, uh, I need to make a command for Fallout 4 as well. This is like my first time streaming it with the mods, so I gotta make a list. So I do not have one currently. Yeah, that list is Skyrim. But how's it going? Alright, let's... Yep, I remember this. This is where you get your first set of power armor. You have to kill the, uh, the Death Claw. I think the gun has a flashlight attachment. It might, yeah. Either way, it seems to be conflicting with the, uh, the Pip-Boy, like, light mod that I have. It's very odd. By the way, by the way, take a second here. Actually, it looks way better. Like, this area in particular looks really, really pretty during the day. Because it's night, uh, as you can see from the stars. Doesn't look half as cool, but just trust me. Like, if I could find somewhere to sit down so I could pass by. Because you can't wait in this game, can you? Unless you have, like, a bed or a chair or something. If I could find a chair, I can wait and then you can see it. Which I know may sound like a little ridiculous, but it does look really pretty. I'm not kidding. Hi, can I use this door? I can. Ah, oh, it's from the other side, gotcha. And hello, Noshi. How long have you been here? I think you ain't just arrived. How's it going, man? Hmm, okay. Fantastic. Alright. Uh, do we have a chair? Let's have a look. Actually, what we can just do is do the uh, the dialogue over here. And I think there's a chair in there that we can use. Evening, Governor. Alrighty, thank you very much for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And thank you especially to this month's $10 plus tier patrons. They are as follows. Nuria Age, Don Lobo, I'll Be Jiggered, Billy Nying, Dr. Piper Penguin, Bad Beauty, Philip Rep, aka Bebop56210, Grandpa Gus, Source of Success, and Hitbox. And thank you to all of the $5 plus tier patrons, as well as Twitch subscribers for this month, who should be listed on the screen right about now. And thank you very much to everybody in the lower tier as well. If you would like to become a patron, you can do so at patreon.com slash LP. But most of all, just thank you for watching. Good night, everybody, and goodbye.